Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELD's Time Ball Games. Actually, the ELD Legacy Open, our flagship event that kicks off most months. February, it'll actually be the second weekend of the month, thanks to the pre-release. And here we have a Dark Ritual, Thoughtseize, targeting himself. Rodney recently winning a challenge with Reanimator. Been on this list for quite some time. Animate Crystal Brand only gets to draw seven, losing eight, but still an incredible value. And easily get a black card in hand to go along with that single grief that was left over. However, Michael is not going to force any further gameplay, not going to be beating a turn one seven seven lifelink flyer that can also draw seven cards, the drop of a hat if necessary. I mean, just as a seven seven flyer. Probably good enough. 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink. That, that is very unlikely. This looks like actually a stompy deck. We see Trinisphere. There was a sticker deck at the start of the game. About a significant amount of shuffling in pregame actions. Uh, thankfully we get to skip over that in fast effect. Here we have a mull to five from Michael. And he does find the ley line of the void that he was looking for. And Rodney actually has the pivot ready to go. So Leyline is going to shut off the graveyard. Rodney just going to have an exile pile this game. However, Sedgemore, one of the pivots that's possible for this deck. I'm not sure what the best pivot is, but this one at least has synergy with the rest of the plan uh, in terms of bring back a Sedgemore or Witherbloom Apprentice. With a reanimation effect. A goblin rabble master. Going to go alongside this chalice at one. Witherbloom apprentice along with Sedgemore. Represents a very real clock. I mean it looks like a clock out of a draft. But this is a real clock. Five damage a turn at least. Rabble master. Turning sideways. Pushing through four damage. One of these guys can stay back pretty easily. Hold off pretty much everything. I mean, Witherbloom could trade with Rabble Master or just continually block the 1-1 one, one goblins. Oh, but Rodney's not interested in that. He has chosen violence, turning everything sideways, trying to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Doesn't want a card like Fury to show up and completely undo this board. Brief, pitching, reanimate. He also dark ritualed on Michael's turn just to get the body and the drain. All of these one casting cost cards not going to do very much, so reanimate, not something that can help out, except you trigger both Sedgemore and Witherbloom Apprentice. Simeon Spirit Guide. What a traitor. Switching sides. He knows who's taking this down. He wants to be on the winning team as Goblin Rabble Master steps in the way of his brother, but that is not enough to stop lethal damage as Rodney's pivot works to win in two.